Nothing God can't do. I was driving around in my car with my son the other day. We started talking about God and all the things that he can do. He's got a pretty good imagination. He asked me some pretty tough questions. And I must admit, he almost stumped me on a few. Like when he said, Dad, can God beat up Hulk Hogan in a wrestling match? I said, yeah. He said, well, can he beat up Andre the Giant and the Ultimate Warrior too? I said, I believe so. He said, but he wouldn't want to hurt those wrestlers, whether they're good guys or whether they're bad guys. Because I think he loves them the same way that he loves me and you. He can shine upon the ones who live in darkness. His light is always there to see us through. If he can take a broken man and help him understand and turn his gray sky. Why, honey, there ain't nothing that God can't do. He said, do you think God can hold up a great big building with one hand? I said, sure. Can he hold up a truck and semi-trailer with the other hand, too? I said, I believe so. Well, can he hold up every truck and semi-trailer in Canada and United States and hold them up for 46 days? And I said, hold it, son. I told you. There ain't nothing that I can't do. And he can shine upon the ones who live in darkness. His light is always there to see us through. He can take a broken man and help him understand and turn his gray skies into blue. Then, honey, there ain't nothing that God can't do. He said, Well, God can do all those things. Why doesn't he just come down and show us? I said, well, first, you have to prove that your faith is true. And if you live the gospel every day, and always take the time to pray, I think you'll find that there ain't nothing he won't do for you. He can shine upon the ones who live in darkness. His light is always there to see us through. If he can take a broken man and help him understand, and turn his gray sky. In the blue Honey, there ain't nothing That God can't do There ain't